JAMA Network. This patient is receiving a coronary stent. The device helps open blocked arteries to the heart. After the procedure, patients are given blood thinning medications or dual antiplatelet therapy. The guidelines currently recommend a year of being on both aspirin and one additional anti-clotting medication in all patients who received stents. The medicine helps keep the stent open by preventing clotting, but taking this medication can sometimes cause concern. If a patient runs into a bleeding problem or there's some other reason that they have to stop being on both the blood thinning medicines, for example, if they need surgery. Dr. Deepak Bhatt from Brigham and Women's Hospital and co-authors examined whether patients could take blood thinning medications for less time. Researchers randomly assigned more than 3,000 patients who had low to medium risk stable coronary disease to take the dual antiplatelet therapy for either three or 12 months. These patients also received a newer generation drug releasing stent. We didn't find any significant increase in the rates of stents clotting up and heart attacks and patients dying from heart attacks, even if they were on the shorter duration of being on two blood thinning medications. The study appears in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. We did find a trend towards more bleeding. Mostly it was minor bleeding in patients who were on the 12 months of dual antiplatelet therapy versus the three months. The number of complications in the two groups was about the same, although results seemed to be encouraging. But we can't say from our study that there's absolutely no risk from stopping blood thinning medicines early. It's important for patients to always speak to their physicians before stopping blood thinning medicines if they've received a stent. Researchers also emphasize these findings only apply to people with less serious forms of coronary heart disease. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.